In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to move, rename, and copy files and folders using VBScript. This is a demonstration that was inspired by Simply Coded's um, VBScript tutorials. I like his tutorials. I recommend you check him out when you get a chance. He's on YouTube. And to so begin this tutorial, I'm going to declare a variable called cool using the dim command. And then we're going to set this um, cool variable to hold this snippet of information, which is create object parameters quotation scripting file system object. All this does is say if I put cool anywhere, it replaces um, um, the cool is replaced with that uh, command, this script over here. That's all that um, the, that variable is doing. It's just uh, um, in its in its place, if you will. And so you notice these single quotations, they simply comment out what I don't want the VB script to read. And so I'm gonna we're gonna start with this um we're gonna start with this one for copying a file. If the format is simply um the function and then copy file and then quotation the lo first location and then uh, second uh quotation and the new location separated by a comma let's get a picture to move let's say it's the skull okay to get the uh, location of it you right click go to properties and then you go to location c um, colon user rock desktop all separated by backslashes you say okay i copied that and i'm gonna simply add it over here where the where it says location and I'm gonna type in the name of the file which is skull one dot jpg now we want to put it in the new location I'm gonna delete these for now yes I don't want this one I don't want this one we have a, a folder called test and so I'm simply going to copy the location it's gonna be in the same place desktop and except now I'm gonna put in the folder name which is test so I'm gonna save that by hitting control s and running the VB script, which I am editing using Notepad++. It's a pretty good program, and it didn't work. Now, why didn't it work? The rule for moving anything is to always have a backslash. I'm gonna add that backslash in. See? Now let's try it again. You'll notice the picture has indeed moved. So. The important thing to remember is always when you're moving files into a folder to add the backslash in the new location that you are setting. Now we're done with that for um, uh, copying a file. Now we're going to copy a folder. So same thing here. We have a folder called test and uh, first we need to make a folder. We'll call it uh, test2. Okay. And so um, it's as uh, simple as this for, uh, you declare the test folder for, for the location and then in the new location you put in where you want that uh, folder to go which is test 2 so basically it's saying this folder is going to go in here okay or wait location new location actually let me test and see what happens that can get a little confusing and that didn't work Oh, I didn't save it. Control S. Let's try it one more time. Okay. So what it did, it got this test folder, which is the first location, and put it into the new location. As it says, copy the folder. So it copied it in, and it should actually have the image too. So that's pretty cool. All right. That's um, demonstration number two down. The next demonstration is to move a file. So again, similar format we have the location and new location so to move it's the same thing really I'm gonna copy this it's the same uh, thing but this a small extension move file makes it so that it doesn't copy the file there's no remnants left when you copy uh, when you move the file so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that in uh, take out the comment and test it one more time I also mm -hmm. saved it it didn't work let's see why didn't it work is there a test folder there's this test folder. I'm gonna delete the image. Let's see what else could be going wrong. I don't know. Let's try it again. Okay. So now I know why it gave me an error. 
let's say you have that same um, image in there okay and by the way it removed it so I'm gonna um, copy it back to the desktop and say you already have that same image and you try running the script it's gonna give you a error because you already have that same image and it's not gonna override it it's not set to override that image and so that's how you move a file as long as there's no um, the same file in that folder and now to move a folder is very simple it's cool move folder um, all the difference is the extension which is a uh, move folder and we're gonna use the same script we use for copying a folder I'm gonna co I'll copy this and put paste this in here so it's gonna t um, move the test folder into the test2 folder let me yeah everything looks like it's there so I'm gonna go ahead and test it and as you can see that folder went into this folder alright that's the end of the tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to ask me and bye